Okay, I am here with the one and only Dick Valentine. Well, How are you today, Well, Sam? there are a couple others, but anyway, <laughs> if you Google it, you'll find uh, there's an actor from the 50s. Uh, and I believe that there's a, a guy that makes canoes in Washington State. But I, I, I'm the one that's most worthy of note. <laughs> well, awesome, you've just finished your solo acoustic tour. How is it different from your full band Electric Six tour? Uh, it's more acoustic. It's it's a, a more of a shit show. Uh, when when I when I play with the band, it really is like doing karaoke because they're they're so there's such amazing musicians that I can get hammered every night and just go on stage and and turn into Fat Elvis. Whereas uh, if I do these shows, I actually have to contain how much I drink and 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 actually pay attention to chords, uh, which is good. It's a challenge. Uh, you should always challenge yourself. I think, especially as you get older, like I am, you have to. Uh, you, uh, the more games you play, the more like you know, maybe logic games, Scrabble, Sudoku, playing acoustic shows. These are things that you can do to, to stave off dementia in old age. And that's, <laughs> that's really why I'm doing it. Well, uh, do you think your acoustic show is something that you use to really do what you wanted to do as a musician? Because obviously you've said you're into Captain Beefheart and in other interviews and stuff like that, really sort of off the wall stuff. Is that something that comes through in your acoustic music more, do you think? Uh, I, I think, I think uh, my... Uh, obviously, my singing voice comes out more when I do acoustic, but uh, honestly, uh, the band uh, tours so much out of the year that uh, it just anything I can do to just get a, a, to a different take on touring and a different, because Electric Six does 150 to 200 shows a year, and just to have a different perspective on it is, is healthy, I think, so that's, that's kind of the main reason I do it. Yeah, and obviously you're saying Electric Six do so many shows. Uh, is there a particular type of show you think is perfect for Electric Six, a particular place? Because obviously you guys were embraced in the UK first with a UK audience. Uh, in, uh, in terms of location, I'm not sure, but for for us, it just seems like the uh, probably the 300 person room is the perfect size. We play we play anywhere from like we played anywhere in in the course of a year to uh, 1,500 people in certain places to 50 people in other places, and so like if you see us and there's about you know. 300 people there, I think that's the, that's the perfect way to, to, to experience the band. Yeah. Uh, but it's fun when we do the 50 people because then, then we, uh, we, we don't really feel like we're under any pressure and uh, we have a lot of fun with those. Well, you guys are touring the UK soon, um, doing fire from start to finish. And there's been a lot of sort of uh, rejuvenation of, of, of that sort of thing. We've had, you know, tours by Andrew WK, more sort of the musicians from sort of my generation are growing up. Do you think it will be special to bring that sort of iconic album that was so special to so many people of my age to a whole new generation, maybe? Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, uh, I, to me, what's amazing about it is, especially in that time, um, you know, I, I think there are a lot of people who their take on this band that was that we w wouldn't have even a second album and now we're talking about putting out our ninth what so like I think uh, that that's okay uh, <laughs> I think that uh, I, I think that this tour just basically says uh, you know hey we're still around and that's a good feeling at least for us but uh, the, other, the other flip side of that is most of the people who probably thought we won't be around um, uh, in those days probably aren't around themselves uh, and I mean that Seriously, <laughs> you're not around anymore. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> Here's to me. <laughs> uh, is there some stuff on the album that you're really looking forward to playing? Because I mean, there's you know, there's songs that maybe I'm the bomb that, that that haven't been played in years. I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, fair point. We uh, we actually did the live recordings uh, that will be the live record a, a couple weeks ago in the states, and we had not done uh, Vengeance of Fashion or Invent of the Night in in a long time. So actually having to, you know, by contract, having to play those songs was great, and it's, it's a lot of fun playing them again, so, yeah, but, you, you, don't get me wrong, most of that album is, you know, we know where our bread's buttered, so we've been playing a lot of it for a long time. Yeah. I mean, obviously, every time, you know, there are people who love seeing all your different stuff, but everyone wants to hear Gay Bar, Danger High Voltage. Is that something that kind of annoys you a bit, because you've heard those songs so many times, or obviously when you play a song like that, there must be such a reaction from... Oh, uh, uh, in the States we can, we can definitely get away without playing High Voltage, um, and then the few times we have tried to play, not, not play Gay Bar, it doesn't work out. I mean, you know, we're in the dressing room, we, we think this is the one where they finally like, and then, you know, Gay Bar! <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's not annoying. Uh, it's, it's, if that's your biggest problem in life, that's, then you've got a good life. That, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, definitely. And we, you've got a new uh, acoustic album, Destroy the Children. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to explain to people, maybe who are used to sort of gay bar, Danger High Voltage, how it's kind of different from, you know, what we're used to from Dick Valentine and Electric Six? Oh, well, I, I, it's just a, it's just one man acoustic guitar, and then I also have a, a really uh, amazing fiddle player on a lot of the album, and it's just it's very stripped down. I kind of looked at um, 
uh, like uh, those early 70s Bob Dylan records, like Blood on the Tracks is sort of like, it doesn't sound exactly like that, but that was the inspiration. So uh, I just wanted to make uh, more mellow music. I just turned 40. I'm about, uh, I, I named the album Destroy the Children because I'm about to have a kid. So uh, it, it's just, uh, you know, you... It's a, it's a, it's 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 a life turning point, and I'm definitely gonna do more of these albums because uh, I've had a great time with it. So. And there's a new Electric Six album coming out, right? Is that, is that we have a live album coming out this year, and then we'll do uh, we'll do our ninth studio album next year, and that's all I can say. I mean, our band, I think one of the keys to our success is that we haven't like thought five, ten years ahead. We've thought six months ahead, and you just you just always. Uh, you know, you just always work towards the short term and then the long term takes care of itself. Well, one thing I've loved as an Electric Six fan over the years is there's never really been a huge gap between albums. Sometimes you have five year gaps, you know, between albums for bands. Uh, with Electric Six, with their sort of constant album release, let's say you're on album number nine now, was that something that was always important to you when you were becoming a musician to keep that flow of music or is it the fact that you really like recording? It's, well, it's, it's both. It, it was to me. I was always... I, I always looked at a band like The Fall as like the band I wanted to be, like just just throw stuff out year after year, and like you know, some of it's going to be not so good, some of it's going to be good, but just keep moving and keep going. And I've just never subscribed to the the fact that you know, let's take seven years between albums and make your album as good as it possibly can be. At the end of the day, it's a rock and roll album. It's it's not um, the cure for cancer or anything like that. So I, I just I've never, you know, if, if, if people want to be like that, it's their prerogative, but I, it just doesn't work for me. I just I just think you should just record record something. It takes two minutes to record a song and then put it out. So is there no direction you've got planned for Take an Electric Six or your solo acoustic stuff or do you just get into the studio and think? No, you just, you, yeah, you just, you just, uh, you, uh, the last few albums I think, you know, I, th I think have been among our best and we had zero plan going into any of them, like we didn't know. Like we did the Zodiac album, the only thing we knew was that Rubber Band Man was going to be on it um, and all the rest of it was written as we went and it's, it's a great album, so I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of how we approach it. Yeah, and as the main writing force for Electric Six, where do you gain your inspiration from for, for writing songs? Because there, there, they all seem quite those sort of similar themes in the Electric Six music. Are they metaphors for other things, or are they just things you're sort of into? Oh, uh, I write lyrics down all the time. Like, if I hear a snippet of conversation or just a anything, um, you know, uh, all, all my lyrics are written in chunks. The music just comes from everybody. Everybody writes music. We have, um, you know, uh, to me, uh, John Nash is, I, I think, you know, has written some amazing songs for our band, and uh, you know, it's 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 it kind of starts with that. Like, you know, I I got great musicians. I'm a competent lyricist, and it just it just goes from there. So. Okay. Well, last of all, what is in the future for Electric Six? Where can we see Electric Six going, or is that completely sort of are you just looking to see where it's going to go? From the live album out in the fall, playing <laughs> live shows, doing album number nine next year. That's all. I, I mean, that that's it. Uh, I assume we'll be playing some shows. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last of all, if there's a uh, one song you could say to sum up the Electric Six sound or the Dick Valentine sound to someone who's never heard your music before, what song would that be and why? Uh, human. And uh, because I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much yeah. for your time, Dick Valentine. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah. I'll see you later. I'll yeah. see you. Uh, Cheers, mate. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you.